for science. <laughs> <laughs> this video is an extract of iodine from Benzodyne Solution. If you're looking for a good source of iodine crystals, look elsewhere. I started off by adding 150 milliliters of Benzodyne Solution into a beaker. Here I'm setting up heating and stirring. One point five grams of sodium hydroxide was added to the solution. Oh, that's a big booger. How big was I saw how big it was. Is it? Does it sound so much? It's a massive booger. Ew. After the large chunks were picked out, the solution was strained.
At this point, the solution is made up of sodium iodide and excess sodium hydroxide. Hydrochloric acid was added to the solution to create sodium chloride from the sodium hydroxide and sodium iodide. With each pour of hydrochloric acid, you can see iodine forming and then dissolving. At this stage, almost all of the sodium ions are sodium chloride. Still perfect. Excess hydrochloric acid was added to make sure all the sodium ions were neutralized. Pouring 3% hydrogen peroxide into a beaker. Then I dump the iodine solution into the hydrogen peroxide. The solution was then strained to see what iodine had precipitated. The iodine took a long time to strain out, and a lot of it was left in solution and not caught by the filter. So let's weigh our final product.
There were not enough iodine crystals to register on the scale. If you need iodine, I suggest getting it a different way. We'll do that in the next video.